Hello, peeps. This is Midnight. Um, I know some of you have been waiting for the next part of my Alice Mare playthrough, but due to a lot of computer issues on my laptop, which is my main gaming computer in my house, um, it's been kind of impossible to get the Joshua level uploaded, and I've had to redo his level over and over again because Somehow my computer just does not like his file, not in the game itself, but in my recording of my playthrough. So until I can get it fixed, I didn't want to leave everybody with nothing. And I was told by a friend that a lot of my favorite games that I used to play on Cartoon Network's website are getting taken down because of all the new stuff they're adding. So I decided to go back and play two of my favorite games, and maybe a third, um, while I still had the chance. And the first one I'm going to play was one of my favorites, um, even though it kind of crashed on my old computers back then. And it is Courage in Creep TV, which is a Courage the Cowardly Dog game. I remember playing it quite a lot as a kid. And I remember I could never get past a certain point, so we're going to hope I can finish it this time around. Courage the Cowardly Dog was my favorite Cartoon Network cartoon. Um, a lot of people say it was scary, but if anything, it taught me to have a healthy appreciation for fear. And it taught me a lot of other good things, too. Um, so, I, and I adore Courage. He's the, one of the, I think he's the cutest, most admirable cartoon dog ever. So we're going to play Courage and Creep TV, and I hope you all enjoy it, and I will try to get Alice Mare to you peeps as soon as I can. So, so anyway, let's start Courage and Creep TV. Hello, Courage. Press spacebar to continue. Oh, I gotta use the mouse for this. Sure, let's play the introductory tutorial. Yes. What's that growling sound? Wait, is that your stomach? There's a can of dog food over there. Ooh, they even gave us a little arrow. Use the arrow keys to move there. Okay, easy enough. Why won't I let me space bar? Okay, good dog. Now try to pick up the can of food using the space bar. Okay, got it. Great, remember to use the space bar whenever you want to pick up or activate an item near you. All right. Now we have to find a can opener. Try that top drawer on your right. Okay. Stand in front of the drawer and press the space bar to open up. Found the can opener. Now you have to open up the dog food. Use the mouse. Okay, I remember some of this. I remember this game threw me off because I had to use the mouse too, and I'm too used. Even then, as a kid, I was used to RPG games where I didn't use the mouse much. I can't eat out of the can. Let's walk over to our dog bowl. Okay, Courage eats at the table, which is something Eustace gets on to him for, so this shouldn't be that big of a deal for him to eat out of the bowl. Oh, well. Alright. Let's put your food where you want it. Let me click it! Oh, it wants me to do space bar. Why can't I just click the thing and click it where I want to put it? That would be so much easier. Oh well. Get up, Courage! He's so cute! Wow, that must have tasted good! But wait... I still hear that growling sound. It wasn't your stomach after all! It sounds like it's coming from the TV room. Let's go check it out. Okay... I want to check over here at stuff. I'm too used to those RPG horror games where I can click everything. Sounds like people are crying for help, but the door won't open. It must be blocked from the inside. Oh crap, Jesus and Muriel got in trouble again, didn't they? What's this room? Oh yeah, this is the dining room. Oh, there's pictures of courage and Eustace on the wall. And a telephone we can't use. What's this? What is this? Electro Shack Special Offer. Electric can opener, batteries included. And I couldn't read the rest. Amazing offer, I should tear out this coupon. Okay, that might come in handy. 
Now let's go around the back because they had a back porch and they had a cellar and mailbox was empty. There's the side of the house. There's the stairs to the cellar and they're rusted shut. We need a mechanical gadget to get them open. Mm, that sucks. Oh, there's the truck. That toolbox could be useful, but the door's locked. I wonder where Jesus left his keys. Anyway, inside we go. Here's the living room. Oh, Muriel encouragers on the wall. I like that picture. So that's what was blocking it. What, what, what the heck is this? We scared the ghost. And now the TV's on. You picked up the remote. Help, please, courage, help us! Why didn't you stop him? Some kind of guard dog you are. You said shut up. You're useless. Oh, courage, it was dreadful. You just fell asleep in his chair and suddenly Poltergeist emerged from the TV and captured him. Then they came upstairs for me. I reckon they want us to be audience members for some newfangled TV show. Save us, you stupid zzz, or else I'll zzz, try using zzz. Well, I'll give Muriel and Eustace this in this game. At least they're aware of what's happening to them in the show, sometimes they're not. The picture's distorted. Try to send the TV settings with the remote control. Alright, and it wants me to- oh, I forgot it wants me to use space bar. Oh, that's annoying. Let me try this again. Oof, looks like the remote control needs batteries. And the can opener has batteries included, so we're gonna have to do that, aren't we? A new magazine says, watch more TV. No, thank you, I'd rather watch all my stuff on the internet, thank you. Let's go upstairs. Where is the computer, anyway? There he is! Dude, you're supposed to be in the attic. Hi, Courage, whenever you need a hint, ask me and I'll be happy to help. Well, it looks like computer lost his snark. If you want to solve the game without help, then you better get going. Ah, I don't want a ghost near me. Go away. Shoo. Looking for batteries? Hey, I'll bet that electric can opener comes with batteries. Well, no, duh. It said batteries included on the label. Now, how do I do that? Hmm. Courage is afraid to cross the road alone. Hmm. I'm guessing I have to mail that coupon? Maybe you should fill out the coupon first. And uh, we're gonna need a pen, aren't we? I think I remember as a kid I had to find a pen. It's been so long since I've played this game. The door to the attic is locked. Well, that sucks. It won't... Okay, now it will. What the... You stupid ghost, what are you doing flushing the toilet? You're gonna make the water bill go up. Ghost, man, they're so inconsiderate. So this is the bedroom. What's in here? Uh, I thought a pen would be in use as this drawer, but nope. Muriel's drawer? Yes! I got a pen, now I can fill out the coupon and let me get away from this ghost! Downstairs. Through the door. Out the door. No! I don't want to keep going back here! Courage! Courage, listen to me! Okay. It's all good. Okay, so fill out the coupon. We filled it out. Okay. Uh, space bar. You put- I put the coupon into the mailbox. Good. And... The coupon is in there. Where's the mailman? He's probably laid because of ty of died long. You know that, watch where you going, you fool. Nothing to find out here, better head back to the house. Bleh. Courage is a little bit of a homebody. I can understand that. Sounds like the mailman's making his rounds. Well, that didn't take long. Dying long must not have clogged up the road too much. It did it. Mailbox is empty. I guess we just have to walk around and wait for him. 
That's annoying. Uh, can I do anything while I wait? Maybe it's because I'm too used to the RPG games I've been playing where I can click on basically any prop and get a dialogue box about it. Uh, let me click things. Oh well, I'll explore. I'm gonna need those tools for something. There's the mailman again. Maybe you have a delivery. So well, let's go check. Gosh, the dialogue in here goes fast. Oh well. Aha! An electric can opener. The batteries are inside, but the back is screwed shut. Hmm. So we've solved one problem and gotten another. I need a screwdriver from the toolbox. And I cannot get them. Ah, now what do I do? Hmm. I remember something as a kid. I remember I found something in the chair. Maybe that was a different Courage game? I'm so confused. I feel like I'm going insane right now. Okay, as a kid, I remember there was some game where Courage got something from the back of the chair. And even the TV show, he would do that sometimes. And speaking of the chair, Eustace has a red chair. What the heck is this crappy blue thing? TV still the same. Ah, I'm getting frustrated. I don't know how to open the freaking truck. Oh, this is frustrating. Computer! Would your snarkiness help me? I already g got the pen. I already got that. Computer! I would rather prefer your snarky little twit self than this useless, unadvised, helpful giving. Ah! Oh. Courage, you're in the bed. And you have it all yourself for once. You're not at the foot of the bed where you sit to Muriel when they're usually sleeping. Game, let me do things. What do I do? Oh, my memories after the whole filling out the coupon part for this game are so blurry. I was too used to playing Teen Titans games. And unlike the horror RPG games I play, this thing does not let me waste time on the prop. And I can't use the can opener on the remote. Ugh. And there's nothing in the chair! Watch more TV. No thank you. I'd rather watch my stuff online. TV fries my brain nowadays. Unless it's Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, let me do things. Mm, I feel so stupid for not remembering how to do this, but it's okay because if I'm confused, then that just means I get to spend more time with Courage, and that's always a good thing because he's a cutie little dog. Ah. Uh, Oh, what do I do? Mm. Do I have to get into the cellar or something? The doors are rusted shut. You need a mechanical gadget. Wait, we have one. The can opener. Yes! Oh, logic. Oh, ghost, don't you dare. I wonder what this large dial does. I'll try to turn it. Sounds like the water turned off. <laughs> That's what you get, you stupid little ghost. That's what you get for driving the water bill up. Yeah, you go away angry. Fire. Mm. So, I guess this means we can go into the bathroom now? Maybe there's something there? Whoop, wrong room. Okay. This must be Yusuf's trousers. Oh yeah, the keys could be in his trouser pockets. Let's check. Yes! They were in the hamper. It makes sense now. Sort of. Darn it. I want that clock moved. Keys. Open. Perfect fit. The car is open. 
in the toolbox you find a screwdriver okay so now we need to use the screwdriver on the remote nothing happens are you kidding me don't I need to unscrew the back of the remote to put the batteries in oh I think this is the part that confused me as a kid use the screwdriver to get the batteries um Mm. So, I guess Courage wants me to, I would unscrew the back of the remote first, but maybe Courage wants me to unscrew the actual can opener thing first? I'm so confused. Ugh. Yes, there we go. I now have the batteries for the remote control. Okay. Okay, let's put them in the remote control. Yes! That red light must mean the remote's working again. Try using it with the shift key. Okay, shift. Whoa, what happened? Now this is weird. We're in the TV? Lay chef, cooking chef? Someone must have dropped this knife. Better pick it up. Courage has got a kitchen knife. He's gonna go Alice Madness Returns on us. What the? Next, we chop the carrots into... Wait, who stole my cutting knife? Is that LeQuack? Who let you in here? Nobody disturbs my kitchen. Get out, you filthy mutt. I thought I told you to get lost. Oh, we have to use the remote control to get out? Then use it. Let me use it. Let me use it. Lay Chef. Was that LeQuack's freaking cousin or something. But I didn't like look whack in the show. Better check the antenna on the roof. Because the yeah, you know, there is a lot of static on the TV. I remember in the show, um, there was an episode with little Eustace after Eustace got cursed and he was kind of hallucinating about the antenna. I guess we get up there from the attic? Why is the attic door open? Someone or something must be up there. Gee, Courage, think it's the ghost? Probably. What happened? What happened? I must have passed out? Mm. I think that might have been my computer glitching again. Sorry, peeps. A ghost. He tried on a Santa hat, Robin Hood, a wizard, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> and he ran away. And there's another one. Crap, courage, let me run. Let me run. Go up the stairs. Whew. The antenna seems broken. They, the ghosts come up here too. Are you serious? I found a wire hanger. Yay! Okay. Let's use the wire hanger to fix this. Let me click it. Yes. Nice job. The antenna's fixed. Good job, Courage. Good dog. Let's go down. Back downstairs. Maybe the TV reception's better now? Let me move around the chair, please. What the? Ah. Uh, I apologize. My computer, the the stuff I use to record, it's kind of making me get outside of the window where the game is. So, anyway, reception's better, so let's go back into the TV. The ghostly quiz show. See a, oh, he's an announcer, dude. You're inside the Poltergeist TV channel. About time he came to save you, stupid dog. Here's the next contest. Contestant, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Let's see who can win this game of who wants to go home. Now, we don't want you running away, so I'd better take this remote control. Ah, I want my remote control back. Now, here's the question works. So I'll ask you a question, then you answer yes or no. Gee, simple. Question one, are you a dog? Yes. He's the bravest little dog ever. My first prize is dog food. Question two, did the poltergeist in your attic try on a Santa hat? Yes, he did. Along with a Robin Hood suit. Our second prize is Eustace. 
Question three. Do you want to go home now? Yeah. Our final prize is Muriel. You won all the prizes, and on Channel 13, game shows last forever unless you find a way to take us off the air. I guess this is where the knife is going to come in handy. The wire. Let's Vorpal Blade this stupid wire. Yeah! Go Courage! Channel 13 has ended its broadcasting day for good. Excellent job, Courage. Thank you, Announcer Ghost. Oh, thank you, Courage. You were very brave. Eustace, aren't you proud of our Courage? <laughs> this will be good. Yeah, that's the post. Now move, you stupid dog. You're blocking my view of the TV. <laughs> Leave it to you, sis. Never learn anything. Oh well. They're back to being a happy family. Wonder if he'll blow his top when he knows that's not his, uh, chair. His chair's red. Anyway, this was fun. I really enjoyed playing Courage the Cowardly Dog again. I love this show, and I love this game, and I'm sorry, um... I got confused at some points. Anyway, that was it, peeps. I'll be back later with maybe another Cartoon Network game.